Hello everyone and welcome to Body Bags. I'll be your reviewer for today. I'm Lonnie from Horror Heaven 77. And the movie that I want to talk about uh, came out just this year, or just last year, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I had a lot of fun watching this. The movie we're talking about is Satanic Panic. And uh, yeah, I really, I made sure that I ordered it online because I don't know. I think everybody remembers not too long ago when this movie came out, the slipcover, uh, Walmart didn't like that. You know, that the movie is called Satanic Panic. They just, so what they ended up doing was they replaced it with a slipcover and the slipcover just said panic on it. And that was it. So I think everybody kind of remembers it for that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I just watched this movie and uh, I really had a lot of fun with it. It's a good horror comedy and the story is, um, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, the best way I can describe it is uh, you, you're you going to go for this movie. If you like, like, satanic occult films from the 70s, <clears throat> if you like movies, say, like The Devil's Reign or, you know, stuff like The Omen or Rosemary's Baby, things like that, then you're going to you're gonna enjoy this movie. But this movie is very funny. Um, the story is about this girl named Samantha. Now, Samantha, she's a very sweet-hearted girl. She's, you know, very, like, you know, very cute and adorable and things like that and she likes you know she's you know kind of the girl who's like into you know you know she likes bunnies and flowers and things like that you know she's kind of a real girly girl so anyway so uh samantha she gets a job working in a pizza place and here's the problem she needs you know she's only got like she took the job at the pizza place because she needs to earn money she's only got like five bucks in her pocket uh she wants to you know use the five bucks so she could get some gas for her vespa so she can you know deliver her pizzas now here's the problem the guy who the manager of the pizza parlor tells her that she needs to put that five dollars down as a payment on the uh, thermal bags you know that they keep the pizzas in to keep them hot while they deliver them and so he's all like, you know, yeah, you keep it. In. And she's like, yeah, but I need that $5 for gas. It's like, uh, you know, you can't take those, you know, you can't take the pieces without the thermal bags and you can't take the thermal bag unless you pay me the deposit. So she's kind of stuck with that. <clears throat> and then it turns out that she's working with two other, two other guys, you know, as pizza delivers. And uh, the problem is, is, you know, it's her first day. She doesn't really know how things work. <clears throat> Sorry. So what ends up happening is the other two guys who are making deliveries with her, they keep getting, they know the areas where the big tippers are. So they're taking all the, they're taking all the good deliveries and basically she's getting left with the crap. Um, basically like every place she goes, she's being taken advantage of. Um, you know, they don't, you know, it, she's having a horrible first day, you know, like she's, uh, going to, uh, uh, you know, like she goes to a prostitute and the prostitute is like, Hey, I'll give you money if you do this to this guy. She's like, no, I'm not going to do that. And you know, she's like, Oh, you prude. And, um, she goes up to, to deliver a pizza. And then the, this guy, you know, tells her about like, you know, Oh, well it's the rule of the Sam's, you know, cause he's got a couch that's like sticking halfway out the door and he's trying to get it in. And it's like, you know, and she's, he's like, what's your name? And she's like, my name's Sam. And he's like, yeah, great, mine too. And it's the rule of the Sams. You know, the Sams have to help each other out. So he's like, you know, so he helps, he gets her to help him move his couch in. And then he takes the pizza and then just doesn't pay her. So she's getting screwed over. And then finally, you know, she's, you know, she just really, you know, she needs to get some money, you know, all this kind of stuff. She needs, you know, a good delivery. Well, the boss tells her, you know, there's this rich, fancy neighborhood and you know they ordered all these pizzas you know you need to deliver the pizzas out there stuff like that and she's like okay yeah i'll do it you know and she knows that this is a ritzy part of town a really you know swank part of town and so she's thinking she'll go there and you know they're going to be big tippers well when she's getting ready to leave uh one of the guys she works with he tells her that uh yeah you know what these people they they don't tip for shit you know they're horrible tippers. And, you know, he's like, I went there and one time and they were doing an orgy. So I got in on it, um, you know, passed the hat around and all this kind of stuff, you know, and everybody by the end of the night, you know, I had a lot of good tips. So she decides, well, she'll go ahead and try her luck anyway. You know, it's like, what else is she going to do? So Sam takes the pizza out, you know, and delivers it. And, you know, it's this very weird neighborhood. Yeah. These beautiful, like rich houses and stuff like that. 
And uh, so she goes out there and she's seeing all kinds of weird things and, and, you know, creepy looking kids and stuff that doesn't make sense. And um, so, you know, so she, uh, you know, she goes and she's delivering the pizza and the guy who answers the door is very weird, you know, you know, it's like, and she's getting screwed again, you know, like she has been this whole time. And so she's like, I really need a tip. I know you guys can tip. Please help me out here. I need money for gas, you know, things like that. And so, um, you know, they, they don't tip her. So she, she ends up sneaking into this house, this big fancy house. And what she doesn't realize is, is, you know, she go she goes in and she's just like, you know, she starts talking to anybody and she's like, Hey, look, you know, yeah, I delivered the pizzas and stuff. You know, I just wondered, you know, could maybe like somebody, you know, give me something, you know, just give me a tip so I could get some gas and stuff. And, uh, it turns out she doesn't really, she's not paying attention to what's going on, but it turns out that this, this, get together that she's at is actually you know a meeting for you know a satanic cult and the leader is played by Re- rebecca romaine here you know who you know oh my gosh she still looks as great as she ever did you know like uh like you know my opinion the woman ages like a fine wine she just gets better <clears throat> and so anyway but you know samantha she's just kind of oblivious to the whole thing even though they're they're standing there they're all like you know hail satan hail satan and all this kind of stuff and you know, but she's, you know, just, yeah, look, if somebody could just give me a tip and stuff, you know, just, you know, pass a hat around, you know, a little, a little courtesy for the pizzas and stuff. And then she ends up, um, uh, Rebecca Romaine's character ends up, you know, like, who are you? And all, and she's like, yeah, I'm just the pizza delivery girl and stuff. And they're all like, are you a virgin? And she's like, well, I think that's a personal question. They're, yep. She's a virgin. We need her for the sacrifice. And so, you know, she, um, <laughs> So she ends up, you know, it turns out that what the deal is, is that at midnight, they want to release Baphomet the demon. They want Baphomet the demon to be reborn again. and But to do that, uh, in, you know, the demon needs to be born from the womb of a virgin. And so they, you know, they see that uh, Samantha is a virgin and things like that. So they decide that they're going to use her for the sacrifice. And so, you know, Samantha has to try to get away from these people and escape and all this kind of stuff. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is like, uh, one of the guys she works with, you know, is, uh, cause he gets involved later on. I'm not going to say what happens, but he gets involved in this whole thing later on. But, um, you know, he, at the beginning of the movie, he's telling her like, you know, yeah, you know, you need to get some good tips and everything else. And here's the thing, you know, here's the thing, baby, if you make it worth my while, you know, then, uh, you know, yeah, I can help you get some of the better tips and stuff like that. So, but he gets involved in it. I'm not going to say what happens, but so anyway, so now Samantha is put into this situation. She's got to try to figure out how she's going to survive the night and how she's going to deal with all this stuff. And, uh, it's like, you got Jerry O'Connell here who basically like once he finds that he's actually, even though like he's married to Rebecca Romaine in real life in the movie, they do play husband and wife, but he's basically, uh, he's kind of banished from the, from the satanic group and everything. So he's just kind of hanging out and <clears throat> then he then he sees uh samantha and he's all like you're the virgin right and so it's like his whole thing is is he's all like i don't want them to you know get their virgin so his whole thing is he's trying to get in samantha's pants so that you know he could deflower her then they don't have a virgin and their satanic ritual is screwed uh then you got this girl here who she was going to be the you know she was going to be the sacrifice but you know she 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 knew what was coming and you know so she had herself uh deflowered so you know and so she's trying to help samantha and i think one thing i could say that's kind of annoying though is now samantha is a good female character she's a good female lead and she's sympathetic you know it you know it's like this is how you do a female lead right you know and what i mean by that is you have a woman who is a real human being she has you know there's a scene in the movie where she talks about um she she had cancer and this boy, you know, he had, I think he had le- leukemia. And so, but the two of them kind of, they loved each other and they kept each other company and things like that. And he, you know, he was there for her and she admitted, she's like, I wasn't always there for him when he needed me, you know? And I, I made a promise that, you know, if I have somebody that I care about or a friend, I'm not going to let them down again. And, you know, she's like, I let him down. He was always there for me. I was, I wasn't there for him the way I should have been. And, you know, she's like, I have to live the rest of my life knowing that. And so, um, but 
I would say the only thing that's kind of annoying about Samantha is just the fact that it seems like information just never gets to her brain because everybody keeps like there, you know, it's not like anybody's speaking pig Latin. Everybody's just saying straight out, you know, look, these people want to sacrifice you. They want to take you and use your womb so that they can give birth to the demon Baphomet. It's not that hard to figure out. But the problem is, is like Samantha just constantly seems like just wide eyed blank expression. And she's just, I don't get it. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What's going on here? I don't get it. I don't get it. So it's like that does kind of get to be a little bit annoying after a while. But other than that, though, um, you know, you care about her. She's sweethearted. She's good natured. She's flawed. She's scared. Um, you know, but she does, you know, eventually rise up and do the right thing. So, I mean, this is a good example of doing a female lead right. And they do make a good, you know, she is a good character. Um, Rebecca Romaine, you know, it's like she, uh, she does that thing of playing, you know, kind of like the, uh, you know, she's the leader of the satanic coven and, but she's got like people who doubt her. One of them is actually uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips from the Rob Zombie movies. And, um, so, you know, so she's kind of, she knows what to do, but she's kind of at odds with some of the other, uh, Satan worshipers because they think that, uh, they think she's not qualified to lead. So they want to kind of like overrule her, but, um, but anyway, so yeah, she's, you know, she makes a very compelling villain. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, the movie is, it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, you got to be into movies about like satanic rituals and rich witchcraft and stuff like that. But, you know, you got to have a sense of humor about it. If you don't have a sense of humor about it, this movie's not going to really do anything for you. One thing I will definitely uh, credit this movie for, it really does have some really, really good practical special effects. Um, I'm not going to explain it, but there are some, there's some great creature effects. There are some good, you know, gore effects. You know, they do come up with some inventive ideas in this movie. You know, uh, there's... Uh, Sorry, I could give away one tiny spoiler. You got Jordan Ladd. You know, we all remember Jordan Ladd from, you know, like Club Dread and Cabin Fever and Death Proof and all that stuff. You know, it's like her character, she's walking around, she's got this big drill, you know, that's like, and she's using it kind of like as a as a penis. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But um, anyway, so, but yeah, this movie is it's a lot of fun. It's very black comedy. Um, you know, you got a great female lead who, like I said, even though she's flawed and there are a moment or two here and there where she, her character kind of gets on your nerves overall. Um, she is a great female lead and, and a good character that you can get behind and she's sympathetic and you care about her. Um, and, uh, even this character too, who was supposed to be the, uh, supposed to be the female, uh, sacrifice before Samantha, uh, her character kind of starts off as bitchy, but then, you know, she evolves too. So, you know, you got some good characters in here, but, um, uh, yeah, this movie is a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, if you like black comedies and you don't mind movies, you know, if you're extremely religious, I wouldn't I wouldn't check this movie out. But uh, but anyway, yeah, Satanic Panic is a lot of fun, and I actually recommend it. If you get a chance, uh, pick it up and watch it. So anyway, so that's uh, pretty much going to do it. So uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. I appreciate you for doing it. I also hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, please like. Um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the Body Bags channel. Uh, we have a different reviewer for every day of the week. I'm the Saturday reviewer and got a lot of great guys doing great stuff. And uh, so that's it. And everybody take care and I'll see you next time. Good night.